No time of the year features candy quite like Halloween, which also means we're going to want to know how to take really good care of our teeth. I know, I know. You just want to talk about how to get the most candy. How can I eat the most candy? How much candy can I eat in an hour? It's a really exciting time of year. But why don't we just take one second to learn how we can avoid some extra trips to the dentist, which is really its own reward. First, let's get Walter's help. Walter, say aw for the people. Aww. Uh... As you can see, Walter's teeth are nice and white. This is because Walter's a big believer in oral hygiene, or keeping your mouth very clean. A cavity is a hole in the enamel of the tooth, which is the outermost, hardest protective layer. If a cavity is caught soon enough by a dentist, it can be corrected and cleaned, but if a cavity is left alone, it'll bore straight through to the nerve ending inside the tooth and be really painful. But how exactly does a cavity form in our tooth? That's because of plaque, a sticky layer that builds up on our teeth and is full of the germs that cause tooth decay. When plaque clings to our teeth, the bacteria in our mouth makes acids to get rid of it, which then start to eat away at the enamel of our teeth. If you get a cavity in your tooth, your dentist might have to drill in and take out the rotten part before filling it in again. It's quick and simple, but it's avoidable, so why don't we just do that? Remember to brush your teeth after meals, especially after eating candy, to clean the plaque off your teeth. Floss daily to remove food and plaque from between your teeth, and listen to your dentist about how to brush your teeth and any other helpful advice they have. Your dentist and oral hygienist are part of your oral health team, and they like candy too. So why don't you turn the tables and next time you visit, ask what their favorite kind is. Stay safe out there while trick-or-treating explorers and have a spooky good time. <laughs>